Hey guys, it's Paul. I'm going to do a quick video on how to sell um, your videos on Amazon. So people searching Amazon video uh, will have a choice to buy it or watch it on Prime. So obviously, Amazon everybody knows, Amazon video. So if I go to all videos and so if I say, I'm going to do a YouTube example, so I've already searched it a lot, but if I search YouTube and then put how to fix match third party content on YouTube, right? So it's, it's pretty much a tutorial video and how to fix something. And this person's offered it on Prime, so if you're a Prime member, you can watch it. Um, free with ads, so you can watch it now, but there's gonna be adverts on it. And then you can rent it or buy it, okay? So, I've, I'm gonna jump to my, a different um, browser, just to show you, and then I'll show you what my login looks like. So pricing-wise, this is gonna be important for you. Buy and rent, so as we, you know, as we saw, there was buy and rent where you set the fat, the fee. If you want to rent it, a dollar ninety nine. If you want to buy it, two ninety nine. Right. So if you buy and rent, it's fifty percent of the revenue. So Amazon are taking fifty percent. You're taking fifty percent. So it's straight down the middle, fifty fifty. Uh, obviously, like that video there, you're harnessing the um, search capability of Amazon, and people already possibly being on there, and you know they trust Amazon payments. So if they're looking for that. Um, that's why that's what um, Amazon are charging you for. If you put it on Amazon Prime, so if someone's an Amazon Prime member, it's saying here um, you're getting 37 cents for a two and a half hour stream. So if a title has two and a half hours of streaming, US customers, the payment would be 37. So I guess it's if it's shorter, the payment would be less. Um, so customer location revenue is so obviously in America they pay more, uh, and then UK and Germany and Japan. So the Prime stuff, uh, that's probably more if you want to get it if you want to get your reach out there and you want to get people watching your video, pretty much for free. But you want to expand your um, your reach and your people getting to know you. You might say Amazon Prime. Yes, depends what it is, right? Uh, free with ads, so 55% of net advertising. So depending on what adverts are on there, uh, there's, see, look, free with ads. So you can offer it like there, and you're going to get 30% of the revenue. So it depends what the ad is um, on there. And then a subscription. So if you set up a subscription, I'm going to go through all this. I just wanted to jump in. First things first, show you the money. Um, so again, subscriptions is 50 50. So. Um, Royalty and earnings, they're obviously going to pay you out when it gets to 100 bucks. I think that's the same. So I want to tell you the pricing first. How to get there, you would go to videodirect.amazon.com and create an account. So I will show you, I'll do a, I'll jump past this bit for you, but I'm not going to go through the um, the full uh, info on me, I'm trying to think. What was that? I forgot your, oh no, it's logging into it. Uh, Create your account, sorry. So, uh, I just want to show you the first page and then you're going to have to do the rest yourself with, um, as far as the details, but I'm obviously not going to put my details in. I have already done it and I'm going to jump back. That's why I've got that other browser open. So you're going to create an account and it's going to walk you through, obviously, all the legal jargon, are you uploading videos, making sure you own it, all that sort of stuff. You're agreeing to all this jargon. Obviously, everybody reads all the way through that. Uh, Non-transactional access rates. <laughs> yeah, read all that. And jump in, right? Now it's going to say, it's going to ask me my, my name and my company name and my company details. <clears throat> it's then going to ask me my bank details. And then finally, you have to tell it your your tax status, whether you're a US citizen or not. Um, and you have to put um, some information in there. So it's, it's basic stuff, business information, bank information, tax information, and then you're all set up. So what I'm gonna do now is jump back to my account. So once you've logged in, I've only set up today. Um, so let me log back in if it lets me in. So it's gonna give you obviously stats on your dashboard, how many views you've had, probably your earnings and stuff like that, right? But what I wanna show you is, how to upload your videos. <coughs> Sorry. So, if you've got two, three choices, 
standalone, so if it's a movie or a one-off video, then you can upload it as a, um, a straight up video. If it's something that you've got a series of videos on, so you see I've been testing this Happy Me Business Online Training series, you can do it as a, um, a series and then you can have a, a season. In America they call it seasons, don't they? For every year they bring out a new season. Um, so you can do that as a full series or you can have subscription and this obviously says six weeks to go live. So that's when you see, um, there was a HBO thing. Uh, I can Game of Thrones, right? So Game of Thrones, when you go here, it says watch with HBO, start your seven day free trial, but then it's $14.99 a month after that, right? So that's a subscription fee that they're also saying you get 50-50 with Amazon. So we're not gonna talk about subscriptions because that's obviously funkier. Uh, I'm gonna go through ep episodes because the reason I'm doing this video is because somebody requested me to find out how to do, how to upload videos to, and sell videos on Amazon. So I'm gonna do it as an episode because that's what they were interested in. So you're gonna go to add series. I'm gonna put, um, I'll call it YouTube beginner training or something like that, right? Uh, training on how to become a YouTube expert, right? So obviously, whatever your series is called, whatever the category is, I'll call it educational. Uh, catalog listings English, even though it's Yorkshire English. And it's gonna start, season number, obviously whatever your season is. Um, how to set up your first YouTube channel. Genre, you can pick, obviously there's loads. I think I wanna be, I wanna be in the technology sort of, non-fiction technology. So you can add three, whatever it might be specific to you. Original language is English United Kingdom for me. Like I say, it's English Yorkshire. Original release year, if you wanna put it in. Add a rating, so you've got to add a rate, if, you, if you've got a video that's already out, it's got one of these ratings, you just pick it. But for me, no rating, and uh, as long as I don't swear, seven plus will do. Key art, now this is funky because I've, I've just messed about with um, 19, 20, so you've got, basically you've got two art areas that you've got to add art to obviously show up on um, you know these sort of places that need to be a specific size. So I've actually created one and then messed about with it. So actually, the four the aspect ratio four three, you'd have to find out the sizes for that. But uh, oh, there you are, 1600 by 1200, and then it that's why it's funny because the actual the one I've got is, is the opposite way around, but I knew it that so this one needs to be uh, 1920 by 1080, and this one needs to be 1600 by 1200, or that ratio of that that one needs to be a minimum of, of 1080 ha uh, wide high. And then a background image if you want to add one, which I guess is this, see Jon Snow in the background there, which I haven't got. So I'm gonna save that, and hopefully it's error free. I think you get a green tick. So I've got a green tick up here. If you've got any problems, it will just give you an error. It then says it doesn't seem to save properly, but hopefully it has. Uh, yeah, it didn't take that picture. And it, say, it ticks to say it's happy, but then it ticks to say it's not done. So I'll come back to it if it's not happy. Oh, it's green there now anyway. So so cast and crew, so studio creator. This is obviously Happy Me Limited. Uh, the crew, I'll put me. And then obviously you've got writer, director, producer. You're gonna put in anything there. Cast, Paul Nicholson is playing himself. So you would put in as many people in the video or whatever, you know, a cast and crew. Give everybody the credit and save it. Again, oh, there's a tick, so that one's gone green. Now the episode, it's where it gets a bit funky. So add an episode. Title, uh, YouTube um, initial setup, right? Something like that. Choose date, it was done, I think. Start of the month. How to start your first channel. Whatever it is, obviously the thing. The mezzanine file. 
Um, obviously, you're going to upload your, your best quality video, and they're saying the, the better, the better. <laughs> the higher quality, the better, I guess. So then I'm going to go videos, and I'm going to pick, uh, so YouTube, set up your set up. So that's basically my MP4 of this video. Uh, key art on that 4.3 again, so I'm going to go back to the 4.3 video uh, image I've got so it shows up again it's not great but if you were doing it properly you'd take a little bit more time now when you save it this is where you're gonna get into slow problems in theory you have to upload a captions file so you have to have transcribed oops sorry I also need to say it's English English so you you have to have you have to have got um, somebody you have to have a, a closed caption file added, right? So now, if you click on the icon here, it's gonna say these are companies that'll do it for you. So if I go, you know, Play Media, I guess you give them your video and they'll transcribe the, the captions for you. So, at whatever cost. So you need to find the file. Now the easiest way I found to do it, which is a mini hack, um, don't tell me my Chrome's about to hang. Yeah, okay, so this loaded. So basically, like companies like this will do it for you. There's obviously pricing and stuff like that, but I'm not gonna go into that on this video. It's, um, you can have to Google, or I'll put a link to how you get a video transcribed. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to, if my video didn't die, I got a problem with my Mac and um, YouTube at the minute, which is kind of ironic because I'm doing YouTube videos. Anybody got problems with Mac and YouTube videos, let me know because it's driving me mad. Come on. So basically, sorry, I'm slowing you down here, but basically what you can do is upload, does not close your browser unless it's loading. So what it's gonna do is gonna upload here, right? So sorry, it's got a bit sky. It's gonna upload, and then when I make it publish, it's gonna say you can't publish it because you've got an episode without closed captions. And what I'm trying to get to is the video on YouTube, which will, how to start your, which is this one, right? I'm gonna edit it. And then I'm going to go to closed captions. So what you can do to do it yourself is upload your video to YouTube, use this automatic English uh, closed caption, which then works out what you've said. And obviously for me, because I've got a dodgy accent, it doesn't go match for match. But it actually does set the um, it does set the closed caption directly for you. And once you've gone to there, you can you can edit it. But you can also download it, and I know that this .srt file, if I download it, so captions one, because I've already done it, is going to give me that captions file. So when I go here now, so let me just show you what happens. You go to, you'll now go to availability. There's a tick here. You go to U.S., United States, and Germany, and this is where you set your pricing. So do I want to include it on Prime? Do I want to make it by episodes? Do I want to make it by season, or do I want to make it three with pre-rolled ads, right? So I would say make it by episodes uh, and by season. I guess that automatically comes after three episodes, right? And now you can set your pricing. So uh, US, one night, the, what their recommended prices are is 199 249 and so on. This is the cheap version. They're saying put this out as a, a value pack, make it 99p an episode or 199 but for, especially for this, this video, which was requested by somebody, I would go custom pricing, and then what you're gonna do, 9.99, oh, 99, 9.99 episode in whatever. You're obviously gonna work out the, the exchange rates, right? Um, HD, buy it in lower quality, so I guess five. So you can, you can set the prices wherever in the world you want. I'll go back to preset just so it so it's happy and leave it at base and then save it. So now look, see the episodes has come back. It says captions are required for all titles purchased in the US and Amazon Prime titles worldwide except Japan. So if you edit it in Japan, you wouldn't need the titles. So what it says actually here is 
if you go to more, it's saying that 30%, uh, approximately 30% of all viewers use closed captions and 80% of those viewers aren't hearing impaired. So they're saying a lot of people are watching it with closed caption and it's probably, you know, people watching videos in a different language, you can probably translate it, but um, I might be lying there. So I've got to add that file, which I basically went to my YouTube channel. So it's getting sky. SRT file, right? And I'm gonna go back now and browse to it. And it's that captions one, one there. Frame rate, I don't know what this is, but it's probably somewhere around 30 frames per second on YouTube. I don't know if YouTube tells you that somewhere. I think like a standard video is 30 frames per second. Um, so you'll have to work that out. Language again, English, uh, and then save, right? So now it will do its uploading. And then publish. So that's how you do it. And obviously you upload all your episodes, you put your pricing in, you put the information in. It's gonna take two to four days for it to be um, reviewed and processed and then published. And then you, you're pretty much away. So I know that got into a longer video, but I wanted to explain at the beginning the, the, the theory of it and then show you the actual process of it in a quicker way. If I've jumped through it too much, ask me a question in the comments or send me an email and I will reply to you as soon as I can. Um, so, you know, we're talking you know, multiple streams of income, aren't we? We're saying, well, do I really want to give Amazon 50% of my um, revenue for this? Well, you know, you're going to be reaching customers and people that you've never touched before. That You know, they're searching Amazon. They don't know you. But then if you find your videos on here, they're going to click on it. They're going to get to know you. You know, people, if I put my videos on here, they're going to get to know me and you know, I'll get the emails off people saying, hey, Paul, or they might follow me on Facebook or connect in some way. So that is obviously one stream of income. So Amazon, then you're probably going to, you know, I'll, I'll do more videos because I'm going to look into putting your videos on iTunes, um, putting your videos on YouTube and charging for them, which, you know, these are all different videos I'll help you for. But if you've got time, I would say, Put them on all of them, isn't it? If you if you've got comp, you know really valuable videos, especially for you golf coaches out there, I would be doing this as video series now. How to do chipping, how to do whatever, or any coaches, putting putting videos out of your series of coaching and and charging accordingly, just to get in touch with more people. So you know, I hope that helps. I hope it makes sense. I know it got fat, you know around that back bit, it got a little bit scatty like I always do. But um, any questions? leave them below and I will jump all over it as I always do and I'll see you all soon. Look forward to seeing your videos on YouTube and Amazon and, and you getting cracking with your businesses. So thanks for watching. See you soon.